Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so here so you never miss an episode. So let me lay out for you how this channel is going to work. Every month, two episodes are going to be filmed here from the studio, and I'm going to be discussing issues that I think are interesting, I think you guys are passionate about, but I'm going to be keeping it real the whole time. The other two episodes, I'm going to be showing strength exercises that I do as a professional athlete, but also ones that I did as a new postpartum mom all the way to where I'm at now, three and a half years postpartum. I'm going to try to show them to you as succinct as possible and explain them, but of course, if you have any questions when I'm doing the exercises, please feel free to comment. I'm showing you these exercises from my home gym so you can see that you don't need any fancy exercise or equipment. You just need a mat your own body, and a little bit of grit to get these exercises done, and some patience. So today we're going to talk about diastasis recti, or DR as I like to call it. Many of you might remember, but a few years ago I went viral on People Magazine, Self Magazine, and People.com simply because I had had two babies and I showed a picture of my stomach. To me, it wasn't exactly show-stopping material. It garnered a lot of attention and it showed me that there was this gap missing in the community of postpartum women and the transition from when we come out of the hospital six weeks postpartum, you have your OBGYN checkup and they say you're good to go. And so for me, when that happened, I said, I'm good to go. Do you know what's going on down there? Like my uterus basically has fallen out of my body. And that made me think how many other women are experiencing all these confusing thoughts about their body and how to heal it coming back from pregnancy, coupled with the fact that I was a professional athlete and I needed to get my body to function again at a very high level. So I kind of started this journey and this mission to figure out how could postpartum women take care of their bodies inside and out, and how could we strengthen and actually get back to where we were pre-baby and maybe even stronger post-baby. It can be a scary journey and lonely journey postpartum for a woman. I know that I didn't really understand what diastasis recti was. By its very definition, DR is the separation of your abdominal muscles it's from your rectus abdominis. Now, I don't know why exactly it happens to certain women. From what I've researched, there's no body weight, body type, size of babies, age that it happens to. It can happen to all pregnant women. It can actually happen to men. It's not as common, but that is something that happens to. Um, for me, my theory of why it happened to me was my babies were born so close together. They were 15 months apart, not on purpose. Um, and so my idea was as I was starting to heal six months postpartum, I then got pregnant again. So my abs didn't have enough time to heal and strengthen back together coupled with the fact that my babies were also huge babies. My first son, Riley, was nine pounds with a head in the 90th percentile, and my second baby was eight pounds, Hudson. So you can imagine the trauma and <laughs> the damage that it did on me. So I was really fortunate when I started to do some research, I found that you needed to have a couple things in mind. One, if you can find a pelvic floor specialist in your area, that would be the number one person I would recommend seeing after you've had a baby. They can give you a really great assessment, figure out if you have abs separation, if you have damage, and kind of where you're at in your own timeline. I was lucky that I met Celeste Goodson of Recore Fitness, and she really helped work with me for the first three years postpartum to get my abs strong enough to be able to handle the routine that I do now. Um, two, you should figure out what are the type of exercises you want to start with based on where you're at. Now, I know some moms might be three or four months postpartum. Some might be three or four years postpartum. My philosophy is it's never too late. So don't think of your child as seven years old, but you still are having pain in your pelvis, pain in your back. Um, it's never too late. You can always try to figure out how you can heal your core. So next week, I'm going to show you guys my routine of how I started dealing with DR from the very first couple of weeks postpartum all the way till now, three and a half years postpartum. If you're not sure if you have DR or you don't know where you're at in your journey, please feel free to drop your story in the comments because I love to have interactions and hear where people are. And if you have questions, you have suggestions, this is a great discussion and it's the chance for us to 
open up this topic and feel like it's something that we should be able to discuss in the mainstream at coffee shops with our husbands, with men, because it's a, it's a real life issue. It's not something that just happened to us as a result of pregnancy, but it also shouldn't be something that we have to hide or feel ashamed of. Okay guys, this is something I'm really psyched about and I hope you are too. Once I get to 5,000 subscribers, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. Each month, I'm gonna be giving away something from one of my sponsors. So one month, it might be a free pair of Hoka Une Une shoes. One month, it might be a three-month subscription to the Picky Club of Picky Bars, Picky Oats, and Picky, Picky Granola. Another month, it might be a bed gear pillow or a pair of sheets. Either way, I'm gonna pick one random subscriber and I'll announce that each month. So be sure you're on that subscribe list and you could be one of the lucky winners. Uh, is this on? Did you clap? <laughs> See you guys next week. I'll still be here drinking fake coffee. <laughs> See you <More>. next week. <laughs> this episode is coming out today. <laughs> Sundays with Seth. If you guys think I should change the name, feel free to comment and let me know if Sundays with Seth is super lame. See you next week. Thank you.